Tune in today, June 12th, for another episode of the Let's Be Whole Show. We will be covering nutrition, how to feed your body right. Eat to live, don't live to eat. Our guests today include Chef Amira, Chef Babette Davis, and Chef Don Anthony. Go to morrismedialive.com. That's M-O-R-R-I-S-M-E-D-I-A-L-I-V-E dot com. Click on Shows to the Let's Be Hold Show. 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. today, Pacific Standard Time. We'd also like to hear from you, so feel free to call us at 323-293-3375. Again, that's 323-293-3375. Well, hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition, our fifth episode of the Let's Be Whole Show. Number five, you guys. Yes. Woo! All right. Yes. <laughs> and we're halfway to the mark of 12 episodes, almost halfway. <laughs> if you don't know, my name is Nina Womack, a.k.a. Cleopatra J. And we have... Shanta Gibson, Woo! aka Queen G. Queen G. Queen G in the house, and you have Ali Ba from Mali, and God bless us. We are beautiful. Yes, yes. I'm an Ali Ba from Africa, and last but not least, we have the beautiful Sun. <laughs> She's like, uh, oh, me? <laughs> Monica Marsh, aka Sun. Say Monica unity Marsh. now. Marsh, yay! <laughs> we love her. I love you, too. <laughs> awesome. So, you guys, this episode is a wonderful, wonderful, informative episode. It is called How to Feed Your Body Right, because we need to get our body right. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost 50 years old, and I'm starting to get a little pudge here and a little dimple there, and I need to know how to eat. Don't you need to know how to eat? Uh, yes. I mean, I know how to eat, but that's part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. right. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we know how to eat, but do we know how to eat well? Mm -hmm. And we want you guys to call in the call in number because we want to hear about some recipes and stuff from you guys. So you guys call at or, three, concerns, three. concerns, yeah, and concerns and, uh, about your diet yeah. tips and so mm -hmm. forth. We got some mm -hmm. wonderful chefs on today, like uh, Chef Amira will be calling in, uh, and we also have Chef Babette Davis calling in. Also in the studio, we have Chef Don Anthony who will be talking about healthy food recipes. So we want to hear from you guys. The call in number is 323-293-3375. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, real quick, uh, last week we covered, if you did not miss, we had the wonderful Charles Wright on the show. Son was not here. I wasn't. I missed it. Yeah, she so tell me about it. Okay. Yeah, we had Charles Wright. He was talking about up from his book, Up From Where We've Come. It's about his life in uh, living, growing up in a sharecropper. I just and, remember um, his relaxation method. Yes. The, the <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I remember that. Soak it, soak. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said his creativity is enhanced yeah. with uh, cannabis use. So. Mm -hmm. I would say it would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze the mind. Son agrees. Son agrees. Son agrees. <laughs> This may be your type of show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we want to start off with a wonderful poet, and I would like Queen G to introduce him. We have um, poet Young Rob actually on the phone with us, and he's going to recite something for us. This brother is very positive, and um, I love his poetry, very conscious, um, just very positive. He recited something for me over the phone, and I'm just excited that he was able to call in and right. bless us with something today. Yeah, All right. so. All yeah, right. Definitely. That's what Let's Be Whole is. Young Rob, where you at? Where you at, Yo, Young Rob? Uh, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey. hey. What's up, <laughs> Young Rob? I'm, I'm, my bad, y'all. I'm just dropping saying goodbye to my daughter. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? Positive <laughs> energies. Yeah. Good dad. Yeah. Good father. Yeah. That's beautiful. I want to show you that she got her own money to buy her toys, and she want to buy a, a little uh, some jacket in the box. Herself doing her own poetry. <laughs> Good job, Papa. Own, 
Put your, put your seatbelt on. I love you. All right, baby? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> See, we have a raw show here. Very raw show. Hey. We do it all. My bad. Let me get somewhere quiet. Huh? Okay. Right, hey, uh, what y'all want me to say? Just recite something. Doing? Recite what you recited for me over the phone. We want to hear that positive message um, that you gave us. Mm-hmm. Round one. Round one. We're just gonna get it. We're gonna get it. It's a tribute to uh, Ali. Rest in peace, Ali. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's ding, ding, ding. That's a good. That's right. Yeah. Rest in power. Uh, round it. Round yeah. one. Round it. I, I ran in swinging, giving it all my best. But God was the contender in living life. Still the test. I tried to fight it off and put up a fight he's never seen. But God has a cold meth hook and boy is uppercuts are mean. Hmm. I had to gather myself eleven rounds until we're done. No faith and low on life in the middle of round one. My vision just got blurry as the crowd was giving praise. Another right hook from God seemed to put me back in a day. <laughs> My courage was now filled with deceit and blinding anger. Not even landing the punch, God beat me down like a stranger. <laughs> Knocked me out cold as the crowd erupts in applause. I realized my arms are too short to pick a fight with God. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. That's right, brother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's yes. beautiful, yes. brother. Yes. I love mm-hmm. it. Me and you uh, spoke over the phone about this, young Rob. We we can't be boxing with God, right? <laughs> yeah, real tough. I wouldn't dare. It, 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 most people, uh, um, I, I wrote that because I was um, interfering with my own purpose. Of being a positive individual, I have felt the positivity in mm-hmm. me, and I just never wanted to be positive due to mm. just where I was raised at Long Beach on the east side. And mm. I thought that it was just okay to glorify the streets and represent where you came from, but I was like, why not represent where I came from? I came from heaven. Like, I, I shoot, came out here with the worst of them, and that's what God wants. He wants the fools. He don't want the ones that 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 look like they blessed. He wants the ones that look like they've been in a mess. Wow. That's right. That's right. Well, what was your, what was your turning point, Rob? That uh, because I know exactly what you mean as far as uh, turning from negativity to positivity. Just real quick, like I was a juvenile uh, delinquent and a very mm-hmm. very troubled teen. So to me, it was cool to not be in school and to you know smoke cigarettes and get high and stuff like that. So I didn't think going to school and getting straight A's and stuff was cool. And then it wasn't until I was in my early 20s and, and uh, became a mother pregnant with my son that I decided to take my life seriously and change my life around with the help of God, too, of course. So what was your turning point to mm-hmm. go from negative to positive? Uh, I would say um, from December 19th, 2002, uh, the first day I ever put my um, knees on the ground and prayed to God myself. And um it was a it was a lick, you know. I had a what well, I mean. Uh, I had robbed somebody, and um, what what was crazy about it is I didn't rob the person. Somebody that loved me so much, they wanted to rob the person for me. Mm. When I when I mm. when I had um was in in the situation, like I couldn't stop them from robbing a person, so they initiated the robbery, mm. and me and my friend like kind of completed the robbery. And what happened was is just that um. I didn't get caught. I didn't get caught out the situation. My friend, the one that initiated the robbery, got caught. Um, my other homeboy went to jail because the post, the, the mess, the Hispanic dude just pointed him out and said that it was me. But it was, it was just, it was so weird that December nineteenth, two thousand and two, around nine o'clock, ten o'clock in the morning, after we did that, I went to the bathroom for for some odd reason. It was like a spirit on the inside that said that you need to go pray. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, I, I needed to go pray by myself. I didn't care how bad I was or how you know much respect I had from the, ne- the, the negativity side. I just still went to the bathroom by myself, got on the knees, <coughs> and I prayed to God. And I said, mm-hmm. I'll never steal again, ever again. God, please deliver me from this situation. Mm-hmm. And from me seeing how, how he convened, he just delivered me from the situation. Like, how he just, he didn't care about nothing I did. You know, God didn't care about what I did, what I just did, he didn't care. He didn't have no 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 scars on my back, no reparations that he needed to take back. No karma fell upon me because I asked for mercy. So you had a you had a clean slate with God, and and you were uh, able to. Just... It was it was it, it was it was it's hard to explain because a lot of people don't get the mm-hmm. you know like um 
uh, tickets just written off, dismissed, which was another part of my testimony, right. or just being out of uh, jail just mm. for your daughter's birthday to get there just in mm. time, mm. you know, like for your daughter's birthday. Like you never, you, most people never go through situations where they continually just seek God on your side, no matter how much you messed up. Mm. And um, mm-hmm. I was that one where I felt like, oh, we, if I... God, so you telling me if I be even more worse or if I just do a little bit of something more bad and I won't get caught up? And then it got to that limit where I just started saying, nah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not good at being bad. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm good at being blessed. I'm a spoiled yeah. child. Yes. I'm, a, yes, I'm a spoiled yes. child in Christ. And my whole entire life, you can, my whole entire life, I will always be spoiled in Christ by doing stuff negative and then getting like not getting away with it but knowing dang well i should i shouldn't have the blessings i have to this day i shouldn't mm-hmm. you know i probably um shouldn't even be able to talk about the story that i'm talking about it but god told me that he was gonna allow me to talk about it for a reason he every every situation i go through is not only a lesson for me, mm-hmm. it's actually for a lesson for somebody that's about to go through my situation mm-hmm. all right you know, Rob, I'm sorry. My we, bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. We we love your testimony. It was a beautiful testimony. We have yeah, yeah, to move yeah. on to um, our. We have a guest caller in calling in too. So God bless you. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you, thank you, you young Rob. Yep, 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 thank yep. you. You're awesome. Such a, awesome. You are so powerful. Yes. Yes. I'm that was. Very I believe that in you. Was, mm-hmm. That was. Keep being chung, okay, brother. Yes. So, uh, you guys, who we want to bring on uh, next is Chef Amira, who is going to talk to us. What we've been waiting for, the topic of this show, is about how to get your body right. So, we're going to hear from her. She has... Okay. So... Um, Chef Amira is going to talk to us. The name of her company is called Black Girl Magic Recipes. So, Ooh, I like she, yeah, so. Black Girl Magic Recipes. She uh, has studied filmmaking. She has her degree in communications, and uh, then she turned into a private chef for a lot of celebrities. She's wow. done the BET Awards and um, all kind of uh, different mm, award shows and I so know. forth. Yeah. So. Uh, I hope she got like 15 ways to make chicken. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I'm just 15 saying. plus. <laughs> well, the, the name of her recipe right, book says right. plant based. Oh, is it? oh, okay. I'm not sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is she a vegetarian or vegan? Yeah, I think she is. Oh, is she? I okay. think she is. Do we have her on the line? Um, okay, let's see. She says she called. Okay, let me. Have a call. And thank you so much for all of our listeners who are listening yes. to yeah. us. Yeah, and please Let's call in. Holy. And thank you, families. <laughs> <laughs> let's be whole, but I'm like, let's be holy. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, hey, yeah. Don't laugh me too much. Okay, just can just you give call? me the correction, okay? <laughs> That's the well, you ways know, alone. Yeah, all I know. Right. Can you call in Chef Amira now? We're, uh, I know you called. Okay, so she's calling right back because she did call in and she was on hold, you guys. Well, if I can say something about young Rob... I can't believe, you know, that he turned himself around, but it took the courage in himself to do that. Yes. I mean, that is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, because when you do things and you get away with it, yeah. I know and from my past, you do things, get away with it, you keep doing those things. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And he, yeah, and he noticed, he took that opportunity. Yeah. And so I think that was inspiration. He's willing, yeah. He's willing to go for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And to stop that out of his system blood. Yeah. And exactly. I'm so proud of him. Yeah. yeah exactly. But he heard a voice. He heard a voice. Go mm-hmm. go in the bathroom and pray. That's the and he sisters. did it. And not a lot of people would do that. So, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of us know what we need to do within ourselves to change. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we just don't do it. Um, people are too afraid or stuck in their ways. and. Mm-hmm. So uh, we can be the best that we can be, and that's what Let's Be Whole show is all about, to encourage us to integrate ourselves mm-hmm. and become whole mind, body, and soul. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Yeah. Now, do we have Chef Amira? Okay. So. I guess it's also about making choices, and so today being nutrition, to make a better nutritional choices. So... Maybe instead of frying that chicken, maybe bake it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys, I wanted to, um, you know, I'm always trying different recipes and stuff. And, uh-huh. um, there was one time where I tried this um, baked chicken. Mm-hmm. It was baked. Okay. And I, it's baked chicken breast. I split it in half mm-hmm. and I um, sauteed some broccoli on the side. Mm. And as the chicken baked and almost was like almost ready, um, I stuffed it 
Really? With, with the, the broccoli, broccoli yeah. Oh. Now you're making me hungry. Like stuff. And Chicken then, stuff. oh, yeah, we're going to get hungry today. <laughs> that sounds good. But, um, and then after you stuff it, you put it back in the oven and let it finish cooking and uh -huh. baking. And it's the most filling meal. Wow. Do you put any spices in there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, you tell know, us the spices. Herbs, That's, yeah. um, I like lemon pepper. Oh, lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like lemon pepper. We're trying to stay away from season salt. You know, and yeah, try so, different alternatives. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Not, I'm only using sea, sea salt, salt now. Yeah. You guys try to use sea salt because um, your body processes the sodium uh, much better. Um, it's also it, got a lot of minerals in it. Yeah, it's got that a lot we don't of get from the minerals. I use uh, pink Himalayan salt. Oh, yeah. That's what I cook with. Now, I grew up, like what you were saying about the seasoned salt, I grew up, my mom used to cook with seasoning salt, mm -hmm. Lori's garlic salt, Ooh. and salt. <laughs> And pepper. So it was like three different yeah. forms of salt, and that's how I grew oh. up eating. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. um, I have learned to now kick the, the habit of using all three salts, and I just only do the pink Himalayan, Himalayan. salt. Mm -hmm. That's all I'll do. Yeah. As you get older, I mean, it begins to, the salt sits on you. You know what I mean? It makes what you is, retain water. Oh, yeah. Well, what, that's that's like what it does. That. It absorbs yeah. your... And we're mostly water, so... Yeah. yeah. Because I'm in yeah. my 40s now, and I'm like, something has changed. I can't be using all that <laughs> <laughs> sodium and filling my body yeah. with all these unnatural things because it, it just don't sit right no, no more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Which is why we have the cancers and, yeah. you know, high blood pressure and all that, and we'll be talking yeah. about that later on the show uh -huh. and so forth, too. But anyway, and so... Everybody needs to be sweat. The more you sweat, oh, yeah. the more your body Sweating is good, yeah. Okay. And, and this time when it's hot here, don't say, oh, it's too hot. Get out there and get the heat and your skin need that yes. one time in the year. Uh -huh. Your skin need that. So if we don't have that. Shama okay. Alibaba, you're you're promoting sweating. You, so everyone get out there and sweat. Yes, and take, any, take, any way you can. Ali, we got it. We have <laughs> to get to our guest because now um, we finally have Chef Amira on the phone. Hey, Amira, how are you? And greetings. I am well. How are you doing? Uh, excellent. Excellent. Sorry for that little mix up. I know you tried to call in earlier and was unable to get through. That's all right. We're here now. I'm here now. All right. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So um, can you talk to us a little bit about what you do? I know uh, I just did your introduction that you're a private chef. You also have your uh, recipe book. So let's hear it from you. Okay, well, my name is Chef Amira. I am a private chef, a celebrity private chef. Um, the majority of my clients are, you know, entertainment industry based. Mm. And recently, in January, I was on Food Network Chef Throw Kitchen, and mm. I won Congratulations. the champion. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Yes, and um, that, really, that win just set up for me just to, as I tell people, I'm not just a chef. I do so many other things. Um, just being a chef is one of them. I mean, I am a healer, and I heal through food. I also work oh, with good. aromatherapy oils. I work with herbs. You know, we see a lot of people are dealing with health challenges now, and the doctors are not able to cure them because they will tell you that they manage health care. They don't cure it. Hmm. And Mother wow. Nature has everything that we need in order to... Yes, um, she does. Yeah. Back into balance. That's right, she says. And once we come back to our natural, holistic selves, then the healing will take place. So, you know, that is one of the reasons why I came to this planet. You know, mm. I know my purpose. I know my sole purpose as to why I came here. That's mm. right. And yes. um, literally, even when I won, like, through the show, I'm not sure if you've seen it. I'll have to send it to you. But, you know, I spoke a lot about, you know, my higher self is telling me to do this, which is the highest aspect of myself. I wasn't in my mind. I was deeply rooted in my soul and my heart, and that's what guided me, and that's why I won. And even down to, like, the last guy, when I found out that he was a Gemini, and I understood in my astrology chart where Gemini falls, I knew that I was going to be him because it was in a place to where it's like your house of karma and self-undoing. So anything that happens in this, like, he's a Gemini. So my Gemini is in my 12th house. And if he were to win, that just would have been that I was in my mind. So do you do astrology, too? To get... Pardon? Do you do astrology, too? I do. Okay. I do charts. I do readings. I work with a close girlfriend of mine. You know, we do, you could say like an Akashic Records, and uh -huh. she deals, she's a medium, so she really can get in contact with your ancestors and the energy that you need to connect with so that you can start getting rid of the karma and you can start to bring balance and harmony within your life. That's right. Uh, let's talk about 
the food, how did you come about to, um, you know, t- let's talk about how you came about into wanting to heal with food. Where did um, it start from? You know, it's actually... That process has been happening, although I did not know it. Like, I started working with herbs and making my own skincare products when I was pregnant with my daughter. Goodness. Actually, that was actually back when I was about 19. And then when I was pregnant with my second daughter, like around 24, 25, um, I just came across this herb book, and I just was into herbs and doing infusions. And I didn't know why, and I was in school. And um, then that, you know, went away, and now it came back, and I see why, because I already did the practice. I just was, you know, divinely guided, even though I didn't know. Well, it's all that female energy with your daughters and yourself. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, so I came into, I mean, even, like, working, I mean, with food. Like, I've been cooking since I was 8 years old. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I started off by the time I was 8, 9, I got a a wok for Christmas, and I used to go over to my mom's friend's house, and we used to watch Tales from the Crypt. And I used to bring my wok, and I would make the egg rolls, and we would have us a great time. Did and you say Tales from the Crypt? I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like, baby, she was like, you want to come over and watch some Tales from the Crypt? I was like, yeah. She was like, bring your wok, too. She was like, I get every Tell me what you need from the store, and I will get everything. You just bring your wok. And I used to take my little wok with me, and, you know, that was one of my past times. That was my mom's. Like one of my best friends. That was the show back in the day, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. <laughs> it was. Now, do you Love cook um, only vegan or what? You know, what type? I do everything. I do my now. Of course, I focus on vegan, plant-based food, and even I went from like through my journey. I was vegan raw for about a year mm. until one day, like my spirit was like, "Yeah, so you're gonna eat some fish today. We want some fish." And I was actually <laughs> battling with myself. I can't eat fish because of this, and I fit all this. And when I went, they told me exactly, no, you're going to go to Toto's right there on Sherman Way, and you're going to get the foo-foo and the enrico. <laughs> um, exact told me exactly. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm battling it. When I ate it, literally, I, like, came right back into my body. Like, I was grounded. Because mm-hmm. I know you guys have seen some of these vegans or these raw people. They are, like, not in this world, you know. Yeah. And they're not. They're disconnected. And there was a disconnection that I was having. Mm-hmm. But that was part of my journey so that I could understand why one why why one must be vegan or raw, and that was part of my journey. Now, for me, I need meat every, in my diet every now and then, and I make sure that it's a particular type of meat that I eat. Now, my daughter, she's a cancer. Cancer rules the stomach. For her to be able to process her emotions, she needs to stay vegan because mm. otherwise mm. she stays in her head. That's a way for her, and I just ran across to another lady at an event, and she was telling me she was vegan raw, and she was asking me, like, well, do you know what your blood type is? I was like, I don't do blood types. I understand, like, more what your mm-hmm. star type is because we're 99% stardust. Mm-hmm. So if you understand exactly where you come from, then based off of I deal with, like, the Ayurvedic chart, I can tell you exactly what you need to be eating and what will put mm-hmm. your body in balance and what will put it out of balance. Mm-hmm. And that's how you need to do your eating. You can mm-hmm. go beyond mm-hmm. a blood mm-hmm. test. Mm-hmm. And, could you um, could you describe a little bit of what, um, when you're talking about, vegans and uh and some vegetarians that are not of this world what do you mean i mean just, too much in their mind or it's just kind of like no i'm gonna go live off the grid and uh-huh. and in theory that's great but for me i'm a city girl that's not happening for me <laughs> <laughs> you know and at one point i wasn't like oh my goodness like oh my goodness like there's just no type of awareness um that most people have and then when you start to eat vegan raw uh-huh. Like there's a lot of these blinders are lifted off of your eyes so that you can see what the average everyday person who is eating a lot of meat and who's eating a lot of these processed foods, mm-hmm. like they're just, you know, you are what you eat. So if you're eating a lot of processed things, if you're eating a lot of low vibrating foods, then you're not going to be able to see above what most people who can see, most people who are really spiritually led can see. And they just become so <laughs> disconnected to where it's just like, yeah, so we're just going to do this. And like, in theory, that works, but... When we put in, like, I deal with applied sciences, and in the applied science realm, that's not going to work. And I could not see that because I just was I just was disconnected. It was just a certain vibration. And when I put the meat back into my body, it just, that was, and this is for me, and there's probably maybe 2 million other people or 3 million other people who are like me to where you, I know the journey that I had to go to. And at first, at first, my daughter was like, oh, my goodness, you're eating meat again. I was like, don't judge me. I was like, that's part of my process. Mm-hmm. I was like, cause I was oh, judging yeah. people too. I told people I would never, ever eat chicken again. I would never, ever do this. And the universe was like, oh, really? Oh, great. You don't understand what's up ahead for you in eight months. 
Yeah. <laughs> got some chicken eaters enough. here, though. <laughs> exactly. So it was funny when I did it, and after I'm like, oh, okay, now I see the process, you know. Yeah. When we're in but it, I, and at the same time, it. the people that are totally vegan, we have to respect their choice, too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, exactly. It and them, I, yeah. I totally get it. And, you know, for some people, that really, it works for them, and that is going to be their way of life. For me, it's not going to be my way of life until... I get the internal calling that will let me know, like, okay, yeah, you're going to, which right, recently I've taken a lot of meat out of my diet lately just because I need to cleanse. You know, it's like mm-hmm. every year, you know, I'm sure everybody who has a car, you go get your oil changed, you go get a tune-up, mm-hmm. you get all of those things so that your your car can run at its optimum prime condition. It's the same thing as the body. The car was designed after the human body. So you need to do the same thing to the body. Like you just can't eat. Yeah, eat feed it. Everything. How do you how do you know when it's time to uh, cleanse? Um, you can feel it. Um, you probably will be a little lethargic, maybe a little gassy, stomach a little bloated. You're forgetful. Um, mm. Might be a little aggravated, irritated, running a little bit slower, just mm. like a car. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's like, what hey, I need. You know, it's yeah. taking more. Gas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, we want to get a specific uh, recipe from you, and also talk a little bit more. But we're going to take a break right now. So, can mm-hmm. you hang with us for a little bit longer? I sure can. All, All right, right, thank you guys. Thank you. So uh, we're going to take a commercial break, and we have a wonderful song coming up. Uh, Miss Poetess DJ. I'm discovering God. I'm breaking down the facade. I'm discovering God. And I know that we are not flawed. I look beyond the veil and see the patterns unfold Reflecting the light of my soul And the whole of my being is receiving the knowledge It's being channeled from my past lives like years ago And I know the unity contained in the whole Of the hologram and all of its parts Knowing no end and no start Expanding beyond limitations With love that's been sent from my heart uh, And it all exists Everything that I can't visualize I just feel the vibes and I'll be coming inside Materialize it right in front of my eyes I open up my mind and I'm finding the light And when the timing is right I know my spirit will Rise, never will hide, never will die. And more cause I know that I'm forever alive. I'm God. She's God. He's God. We're God. I'm discovering God. I'm breaking down the facade. I'm discovering God. And I know that we are not flawed. This frequency is so high, becoming one as our atoms collide. Two energies both attracted through vibes tonight. I'm feeling connected inside, and I know it's right. Open up a new gateway. As new thoughts from the all that is begin to make way, and they can't manifest in the same way. All limitations of a choice but the vacate. Exposes a let go of previous ways of thinking. I've been mingling with other life and energy. Whose dialects leave but my ears ringing? I've been dreaming of a remedy for your enemy complex. Now your energy that simply dissects. Just open up to the light. No need to fight. And allow the sleeping God that's inside to resurrect. Yeah. I'm discovering God. I'm breaking down the facade. I'm discovering God. And I know that we are not flawed. I'm discovering God. I'm breaking down the facade. I'm discovering God, so much more than what we've been taught And I've seen we are all connected Visions of the all the days that have been projected Every energy is just one and I've just begun I find the truth my soul's requested The moments here, no more fear, new dimensions will appear When you listen to your inner stuff, you make it all clear Open up your heart and your mind, you will not be left behind Connection to the God inside, you will find Yeah Connection to the God inside, you will find. You will find. Yeah. This frequency is so high, becoming one as our atoms collide. Two energies both attracted through vibes tonight. Feeling connected inside, cause I know it's right. Open up a new gateway. As new thoughts from the all that is begin to make way And they can't manifest in the same way All limitations and the choice but the vacate Now I'm vibing, feel the still sobbing And to bring my body and I know that I'm arriving In a place where I finally feel alive In the veil lifts and I see the source that I can fight in The darkness inside that I have been fighting It's striking through my veins, reminiscent of the lightning That I see up in the sky in this night Reflecting up the moonlight, my true path that I'm reminded I'm God I'm God, she's God, he's God.
I'm God. Yes, yes, yes. We are God. That's a beautiful what a song. a beautiful song. That yeah. song is called God by Brian Divisions. I love that song. It's such a powerful message because we are of the great creator. We are made of the substance of the great creator, and we have a lot of those same abilities. Mm -hmm. We are God. If we are God, why are we suffering? Mm -hmm. He said, if we are God, why, why are we, we suffer? suffering? Why would destroy it? Well, that's a whole nother show. That <laughs> <laughs> that's that a is, deep topic that's yeah. going to take more Thanks than... Thanks for that segue. Yeah. <laughs> <John and Alibaba. laughs> but, but we have those same powers to create. We have the power mm -hmm. to love. We have uh, choices. So choices. we mm -hmm. do. Well, it, we are stardust. Yes, Carol we are Sagan stardust. Say that? Yep, and back mm -hmm. to Chef Amira. Mm -hmm. Chef, you still there? I am right here. Hi, hi, hi. Did you enjoy that song? I did enjoy the song, and I love um, the, what you guys touched on when you came off. Um, after the song was that, you know, we are guys, we are creators, why are we suffering? It's because we're not living up to our highest potential, and we have karma to work through Ooh. from that. So by knowing our chart, by knowing our numerology, then we can start to see our different patterns, and we can see our galactic makeup. And then once we start to resonate with that and work within that, that's when we will start to see less suffering. She's speaking my language. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah, she said we're, it. that suffering is because mm -hmm. we have not realized our full I potential as God beings, as God-like, yeah. as children, as kings and queens of mm -hmm. the living God. We have not. We're getting there, though. We're getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> Each year, a little bit closer. Work in progress, right? right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Work in progress mm -hmm. is so true. So, <laughs> so speaking of being divine-like and more God-like, Chef Amira, what are some of the food to take care of our temple. Okay, some of the foods we want to use to take care of our temple. I just even what I just um, I just came off of a, a meeting for my team, and I let them try this beautiful coconut oil that comes from um, some of my spiritual parents. They have a retreat in Belize, and this coconut oil is from Belize. It has mm. high medicinal value, and there's two different kinds. There's one that's mixed with chaka mushroom, which is really good for the entire system. How do you help. spell that? What kind of mushroom? Uh, it's a chaga mushroom, C H A G A, C -H -A chaga mushroom. Chaga. And the other formula they have is mixed with lion's mane mushroom, which is really good for mm -hmm. uh, brain health and lion's you know, mane. Mm -hmm. Like a lion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you look at it, it looks really like a lion's mane. I I use it in a lot of things that I cook. With. Oh. So you've seen the mushrooms as uh, medicinal or. Celebrating yeah, the, the body, the, temple. The, just even the, the coconut oil is medicinal, but mm -hmm. on top of that, the mushrooms have medicinal qualities that help bring balance within yeah. the mm -hmm. body naturally, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And that's also one thing is when you say when we suffer, there are times when you're cleaning your body. So when you're cleaning it and you're, you, that means you're also on an energetic level, you're cleaning that stuff out. So you might actually experience it. Now, there are different, you know, prayers and chants to help alleviate that or that you could even kind of wipe away some of that suffering mm -hmm. so you don't experience it all. Mm -hmm. um, that's another show. So but, when, you're, clean, um, well, when you're cleaning yourself out, I mean, mm -hmm. don't, don't the, um, energetically, don't the, uh, like, uh, stuck emotions and things like yeah. that, don't, aren't they jarred open? They jarred open, but you experience them. Like, say if there's, if you had an argument, say with your mother 10 years ago, you guys haven't mm -hmm. spoken, finally you guys see mm -hmm. you start to get through those emotions, mm -hmm. there could be all those relationships along the line that, you know, receive stigma from that relationship. So all those things might start to come up as well. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you think, oh my goodness, I'm on this mm -hmm. path and everything's going to be great. Um, but be prepared. Crazy. You know, yes, yes. exactly, because you're going to have those bumps in the road, and that really just lets you know that you're doing something. Because I know a lot of people who are doing quote-unquote spiritual work mm -hmm. that are happy every day, and I just know where they're at. I, they're not open for anything, so I leave them where they're at, but they're really not doing the deep spiritual work, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what else I notice? Like when you're cleansing, sometimes you get tired first before the energy yeah. kicks in. Oh, you, I, I mean, well, that definitely because you're clean, like you actually are starting to move toxins through your body. So right. you probably experience mm -hmm. some of them and then they move out and then you like kind of like the rain when the storm is here. It's like, oh my goodness, I can barely drive. And then after you're like, oh my goodness, the sky is clear and everything's great. But while it was storming, you know, you really had a hard time getting from this place to this place or it was flooding and there was a lot of things that were going on that seemed to be chaotic. But, mm -hmm. you know, out of chaos, you know, that's what breeds, you know, something that's new. 
Okay, so yes. we have the mushrooms. We, we have all the mushrooms, uh-huh. the co- coconut, coconut oil. oil. Coconut oil. Um, definitely, um, as I did, like parasite cleansing. Like if you just do that once a year, you're definitely going to be straight. A lot of the um, problems that we, uh, the body. I'm sorry, experience. what kind of cleansing? What parasite. Uh, parasite cleansing. Oh, parasite. Uh, parasite. parasite cleansing. On that note, Chef Amira, I uh, recently purchased diatomaceous earth, and I've been taking that. Is oh, that, yes. what do you recommend? Is that good? Oh, diatomaceous earth is great, but that's not the only. Oh, there's different things with, like, the mm-hmm. parasite cleanse. As usually, if you, I'm not sure if you know who Dr. Schultz is, but they have mm-hmm. this, it's a zapper that you use in your body that sends an electrical current that kills off. Mm-hmm. Oh. Adult, as well as is it like age. getting tasered? Shock the therapy? <laughs> is it tasered? Is that shock it, it's therapy? A it is, but there's also. I'm not sure if is that like the stuff. Beamer? Have you heard of the Beamer? The Beamer. I haven't, but I'm sure it probably is like that. And I know that when I looked it up, it was like five hundred. It was about five hundred dollars or so, maybe a little more. Mm. Oh. It might be that, but there are also like I do something. You might have seen it. Um, you know what? Actually, I've only um advertised it in my group, but it's a galactic activation with a friend of mine who's a shaman, and he. Um, go through these chants that basically will cleanse you on all the different levels on your body to where it will start to kill off the parasites. But of course, wow. you do the physical stuff with it. So there's ways to get around that, which mm-hmm. I just have been divinely led to. So mm-hmm. at first, I didn't even know what, I was like, okay, great, this is what I'm going to do. And then the research would come later. I would talk to my spiritual parents. They're like, oh, yeah, so this is what you want to do with that. I'm like, oh, now I see why I was doing that. So what, is, what are the, the parasites, what are they, where are they coming from? I mean, what? Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't care. You can be a vegan. You can be a raw. You can just mm-hmm. drink your water and eat huh? them. It's just, they are just there. And they are, um, if you ever, people who deal with a lot of mental issues, it's not even them. It's mm. really the parasite, quite mm. honestly. It's not, mm. it's not them. You know, they actually, a parasite, para means living off of. They are living, they're living off of. Right. You know, they, people have had parasites for 10 years. Like, I have this craving mm. for chips. It's not you, it's the parasite. The parasite, feed me, woman. I'm hungry. Oh, really? So, um, you know, the parasite. So we are, all they, have parasites and that's We all do. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm freaking freaked we out. All do, um, <laughs> lupus, lupus is um, actually caused by parasites. That's why there's wow. lupus oh, because wow. it's just when cleanse oh, your body you does not have lupus anymore. Multiple sclerosis, a lot of these diseases that they have no cure, they're caused by parasites. Irritable bowel syndrome is caused by parasites. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That's why they won't give you a cure because then no doctor will really talk to you about parasites. So they don't like really have a cure because then they would lose a lot of money. But um, back to the uh, healing foods, um, mm-hmm. with that, I include, I mean, lots of garlic. Garlic. Uh, mm. The diet of earth is, you're amazing on that. And activated okay. um, black charcoal. Like black you charcoal. Take that diatomaceous earth, you mix it with um, some, um, even bentonite clay, okay. edible bentonite, food grade bentonite clay. I've got that too. And, yep, and then you mix that with the diatomaceous oh. earth, and you can just kind of make like a little lemonade out of it. Don't oh. put any sweetener in it. And drink that, and you will definitely start to feel it working. You will have gas, and that just lets you know that they are dying. Thank off. you. But it will just let you know. So if you're sexy, oh, you might want to skip on that for about two days. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> Scientific <laughs> word. Yeah. Yeah. Scientific like word for that is flatulence. <laughs> yes, flatulence, yes. So there's, there's definitely some things that you want Scientific to do. Like, I will tell you, with, um, if you like Black beans, chocolate. like for me, I like black beans, and I like the red beans. Beans. The key that. to not becoming flatulence with beans is lots of garlic. Oh, oh lots of garlic. Oh, okay. So garlic and That's beans. That's good to know. Put garlic mm-hmm. in your beans. <laughs> yeah. And also, even dealing with parasites, just taking a tablespoon of garlic and I mean, table, a tablespoon of coconut oil and chopping up a clove of garlic in it, or even at night, if you do that, that will actually help rid your body of that, plus any other kind of illnesses that are trying to form in your body. Yeah, well, garlic is garlic. I heard is a powerful anti. Garlic is amazing. Yes, yeah, ginger garlic is amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, just I mean, you want to stick with you know whole grains. Like I do, like quinoa is one of my favorites. You know, flax, chia seeds, um, basil seeds are great. They work like quinoa. They have a little bit of a flavor, like a minty flavor to them as well. Um, you want to do lots of herbs. Mm-hmm. You know, you really want to keep. Want to have a balance. You want to have grow a, your like, own living. A plant-based lifestyle that is, I don't suggest if somebody, if you don't really want to get rid of something or you're trying to do it and every day you're thinking about that thing, that's just like cheating. You might as well just go eat it. It does more harm Mm -hmm. unless you know that you can't have it. Then that's just a form, you know, that you just have to discipline yourself. Mm -hmm. But um, Mm -hmm. I'm all about having things in moderation and it all just really depends on where your level of health is. 
Mm-hmm. You know, for me at where I'm at, like if I want to have something great, but I know that if I'm cleansing, then I'm not going to have it because I understand the reward that's coming later on for me not have it. That I'm going to have clarity and it's actually going to help me manifest the things that I want. Because so I'm not gonna keep your eye on the and, rewards. And, and you know what, too, Amira, I had to change my I'm slowly but surely changing my thinking as far as my eating. Like, of course, you know, growing up in Los Angeles, I grew up on a lot of processed foods. And so now as I evolve and become more whole, I literally only want to give my body stuff that I know is going to benefit mm-hmm. my uh, oxygen level, mm-hmm. you know, increase my minerals, my carbon, everything that my body is made up of which is the earth and stardust like you said then i need to eat food something is telling me spirit is telling me it's time to eat foods that will uh encourage that and benefit that that will give me more oxygen such as our green leafy plants like kale and and one way that you can do with that increasing the oxygen is getting the liquid chlorophyll Mm -hmm. i use chlorogen no, chloroxygen. I get it from Whole Foods. You probably can get it from somewhere else. Chlor-oxygen. And I make, it's almost like a little, um, uh, what is it called? Like a little lemonade. I mix it. Sometimes I'll just have it in plain water, but sometimes I want, I have a sweet tooth. So I might want it a little sweeter. So I'll make like some honey in it with um, some lemon. And I'll just drink on that because the um, the, the uh, chloroxygen, chlorophyll goes straight to the bloodstream. Mm-hmm. And so your body's going to immediately get that oxygen. You don't have to digest anything to get it. It goes straight to the bloodstream. And I know that. Isn't it I like an instant rush? It's a, it, I wouldn't say it's like an instant rush. I would say it's gradual. Okay. You know, you'll definitely feel like, wow, I can breathe a little deeper. Mm-hmm. You know, even if I'm not sure if you do any breathing exercises, I find that I can breathe we did a little some. bit longer yeah. or if I'm chanting, you know, I can chant a little bit longer yeah. when I'm, you know, doing it on a regular basis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we were just laughing a little aside here because we started the show. Before we started the show, we held hands and breathed deep and released all the negative energy out and inhaled positive energy and love. And love. Mine mm-hmm. was more like a high wind going out. Like it, was, <laughs> it was serious, okay? I, I had to release all kind of it's stuff. Tornado! <laughs> <laughs> she had a rough week today, so she had a lot. She was like... <laughs> yeah, I was... Woo. There was some weather we in like, here. Woo. Man! <laughs> we had some different weather patterns going on. No, it is. No, there's definitely I mean, whatever you see, the weather is actually controlled by us. So whatever you see, the weather is <laughs> no. yeah, that's that I, I, yeah, a yeah. I heard about me- Mercury retrograde lately, but that's another show that has been <laughs> yeah. a tense exactly. time with the and planets. Were, and, it wasn't just Mercury retrograde. We have five was, planets in Mercury. Yeah, Mars. Oh, yeah. So that was a lot of yeah. internal reflection, yeah. and that's just the key, really, just to see what's being reflected to you. You know, no one's ever doing anything to us. We can hold them accountable for their behavior but it's Hmm. coming from us so if we see that like okay why am i experiencing this oh okay let me go ahead and change it Mm -hmm. that's when change happens well, Chef Amira, we are going to have to run. We definitely are having you back on the show in a couple of weeks to bring some of your wonderful creations yes. to the yes. show. Yes. Yes. We eat them. <laughs> but anyway, we love you. We send you many peace and blessings. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. You have Thank a great you. evening. You too. You. You love too. you guys. Love, love you too. too. Okay. Are you there? Not yet. Oh, okay. If you have a call, if you would like to call in and have a comment, or uh, would like to share a recipe, or have some concerns, please call three two three two nine three 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 seven five. That's three two three three nine three 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 seven five. All right. And thank you for all our listeners who listen to us. Yes. And God bless us. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. She had a lot to say. I mean, she. Definitely. Yeah. I, we didn't get any recipes out of her. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the mushrooms. We got the, and, mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms. Coconut oil. And, and the coconut oil. I've been doing coconut. Yeah, the food? Only cook with coconut oil. Yeah, right? I want to know more about this. The test. Well, just stay. You know, you go to stay. Costco, you have a little tink in the side. You All right, test. well, stay seated here. We may have some food. <laughs> Chase, we got, we got a you bowl didn't back here high. No, you came here hungry, huh? Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. Speaking of food, speaking of food, we got some more wonderful, nutritious topics. We have the beautiful, the gorgeous, the stunning. Listen to when I say the stunning, because this stunning. woman is sixty-five years old wow. with a body of an eighteen-year-old cheerleader athlete. Wow, Miss Chef. 
Babette, huh? She's not here. Okay, so we lost Chef Babbitt. <laughs> well, so just <laughs> rewind. <laughs> rewind on okay. that one. Oh, boy. Okay. But I want to know more about this uh, diatomaceous yeah, okay. earth. or what is it earth? Diatomaceous earth, that's okay. spelled D-I-A. Uh-huh. Um, T, dia, D-I-A. T-E-N? T-A-M. Oh, T-A- we have a caller. A-M. We have okay, a caller. Okay, so. A-C-I-O-U-S. I, Something like that? I'm trying to text her the number. Diatomaceous, so she can call in. Okay. D I A T Diatomaceous. Tomaceous, okay. M A C E O U S. Hmm. What I would pass the spelling bee when I should <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll Google okay. it. <laughs> but <laughs> Diatomaceous Earth, if you guys don't know, it is a um powder. It's very interesting that they use as an insecticide. It's really? a natural uh powder that grows from the earth, but it has these small, teeny, teeny, teeny little fibers that scrape parasites. Really? So uh people uh, sprinkle it on their gardens to keep, you know, worms and different parasites mm-hmm. up from eating the produce. So you can, they have a human food grade form and you can take that and what it does is those little teeny fibers mm-hmm. that won't affect us at all. We can't feel it, but it's scratching all those little parasites out that's in our <laughs> Scratch them out. Yeah, just <laughs> we found out we could be shocked into blood. health today. <laughs> Scratch out We found out parasites. we could be shocked into health. And <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> shock treatment? I'm like, what? And um, you know, Nina, and also she said black charcoal or black charcoal? charcoal, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So Activated you, charcoal. Oh, yeah, that's... Is Act- there a recipe? Oh. I don't know it. I don't know either. That's I don't know. <laughs> no, activated charcoal oh, okay. is, you know, charcoal, like how you barbecue. Mm-hmm. Uh, charcoal has a, a way of drawing impurities out of your skin. Yes. I have a product here that mm-hmm. is Correct. a uh, is a soap with really? activated charcoal. I've yeah, I wanted soap. to show you guys. But do you eat the, um, that, uh, the, the, uh, Diatomaceous yeah, earth. Yeah, earth. Well, you put a, you drink it. You okay. put a, you put, um, I'll usually, my tonic is I'll put a tea. We have a, a color. A tablespoon, mm-hmm. okay, a tablespoon of uh, diatomaceous earth. Okay. Along with some Bragg's uh, vinegar. Vinegar. Mm-hmm. And Apple then water. Vinegar. And I use a little uh, cayenne pepper. And I drink that. That's my detox tonic. Really? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. I'm going to try that. You can in orange juice and okay. whatever you want. Uh, you guys, we have a caller in our wonderful media partner, Mr. Hip Hop Music Effect, Rashad Ali. What's up, Rashad? <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Hey, Rashad. How you doing? Oh, uh, doing pretty good. We're good. We've got uh, Chef Babette Davis calling in right now. So Ooh. can we bring her on? So, because she, we had a little technical difficulty at trying to get her on. Rashad? Yes. Okay, we're going to, can you call back in a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. All right, okay, thanks. All right, thanks. Thanks, all right. Chef Babette, are you there? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we are going to have her. She is coming up in a second. I want to show you guys yeah. that. Um, what do you got there? This is the soap that is activated charcoal that I bought from this lady, and I use it mm-hmm. on my face. Mm-hmm. What is this, the... this black charcoal part uh-huh. draws the impurities really? out of your skin, and the other part is Ooh, uh, lavender. Good. Yeah, lavender mm. and cedar. And what is this part? That's lavender and cedar uh, soap. And then this is the activate. Yeah, sure. Smell that. Smells so good. Oh, yeah. It smells Mm. nice. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you don't smell it. That's why you have such beautiful skin. So you're taking the impurities out as you wash your face. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this activated charcoal. I don't think it'll work the same with a piece of charcoal. (laughs) (laughs) So don't go to a barbecue. Don't go. (laughs) Go to the barbecue. You may want to get. Yeah. You have to find the wood charcoal. Right, right. The wood charcoal. (laughs) <laughs> we are going to yeah we may want to <laughs> stick to the herbal yeah charcoal <laughs> you said the herbal charcoal um, I'm just saying you know <laughs> yeah so I um okay we gonna call we gonna get Miss Babette Davis on the phone 
Okay, she, okay, she is on. Okay. You guys, thanks so much for being patient with our technical difficulties. We just roll with the flow. However it comes out, it comes out. But anyway, now we've got Chef Babette Davis, who is fabulous, mm. fit, and 65 years old. All she right. doesn't look a day over 18. Her body oh, is... You- Girl, please. You're really nice. <laughs> For real. Hi, we, chef. Hey, we, and her restaurant is called Stuff I Eat in Inglewood, California. Really? It's a vegan restaurant. <gasps> I love it, and I'm not vegan. This Wait, what is the name of that? Stuff, Stuff I, I eat. eat in Inglewood, Welcome. California. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi Wonderful, and how are you? Wonderful, laid back. I worked really early today. It's been a long day, so I'm finally off my feet, relaxing. Oh, good. Good. What was the special for today at the restaurant? Mm -hmm. What was the what? The special. Well, today, actually, I prepped alone today, so there there was not a special. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) There was not a special today. We just made everything special. Because, um, <laughs> you right. know, I, I had somebody call and say, that, that's like one of the major challenges in a business like this. It's wow. just attendance is, can be pretty wacky sometimes. Yeah. And so you have to always be prepared to, you know, take care of it. By yourself. Yeah, roll with yes, the roll yes, with it. Roll with the yeah. hey, just doing like with it. That's right. Just like with it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, Chef Davis, can you give us a little bit of your background and how you came about having the restaurant, you and your husband? Oh, sure. Um, I um, met um, my husband in 1990, and um, needless to say, when I met him my entire world changed and um, I became vegan Mm. almost instantly and uh, Mm. just very intrigued at at the fact that you didn't have to eat some of the things that I had consumed um, to to be able to enjoy uh, eating. Can you give it a for Um, instance? And that's, you know, most of us we ain't thinking about nutrients when we eat. We're just, you know, it's the, for the pure enjoyment most of the time. Mm. That's why we eat some of the stuff that we eat. Mm. But so once I transitioned, um, I started playing with food because I wasn't a cook. Ron cooked. As a matter of fact, he cooked my first vegan meal. And mm. it was great, you know, simple but very, very great. And and after then, I became intrigued, started playing in the kitchen. Mm. Then we started having parties, people in and we would only have vegan parties. Um, mm, wow. People can enjoy the food. Yeah, we were pretty pretty hardcore back then. And that's been like 25 years ago. 25 and, years, wow. Exactly. And and I haven't really looked back. I think one time Ron and I tried um, jerk chicken when we went to Jamaica. And it just it just didn't, it wasn't right. It jerked it the wrong way. And, 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 and we just... We haven't looked back. It's been that way for us. And, and we were just pretty much convinced that for our own personal selves, mm-hmm. um, we needed to change our lifestyle, and it was going to be really good for us. And at that particular time, that compassion had very, very, very little, if any, if anything at all, to do with it, mm-hmm. my decision. I have since changed <laughs> enormously. Mm-hmm. Um well, can but, I can I ask you something? Uh-huh. When when say somebody with the average American diet, what are maybe three things that you could that you would advise them to start doing to, you know, to clean up their their eating habits or not well, clean it up, but you know, make better choices, so become I'll healthier. Tell, I'll tell you what I did. Mm-hmm. I, I was a sugar addict, and um, that, that was the first thing that I learned about and decided to. Um, step away from Hmm. and combining food properly um i I was i learned even if you're going to consume um the animal protein you want to be able to eat it so that it digests easiest Mm -hmm. you know learning that um and that's why the book fit for life by harvey and marilyn diamond they're invaluable books they Mm -hmm. teach you about food combining um, okay. and uh, just okay. dairy. Dairy was was huge because 
I suffer with asthma, suffered mm -hmm. with asthma, I asthma, have asthma. <coughs> and dairy was just a, a real tricky one for me. So mm -hmm. those were the three things that I um, began to um, focus on mm -hmm. and, and when I transitioned. Now, I don't come on and tell anybody how to do anything. Mm -hmm. I share a lifestyle, mm -hmm. period, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is how I made my transition. Those were the three things that I did. And I just cut out dairy, pretty much cold turkey. Now, sugar was a little rough. Uh oh I got some um, work. <laughs> but, but I cut way back on the sugar and then began to use maple syrup and mm -hmm. all the alternatives. Mm -hmm. And so I struggled mm -hmm. through that. Uh, but... I, I, I'm putting out a dessert, a vegan raw dessert book, and it's, I use agave nectar, so I'm still hmm. battling. Yeah, but, well, um, I was going to say, I, I stopped, uh, Babette, I stopped white sugar, period, and I'm only using the agave nectar. Yeah, so is that I okay? I can tolerate, for some reason, my skin it doesn't react. Uh, to the agave nectar as it did with refined sugar. Mm -hmm. Refined sugar, just, I was a mess. Mm -hmm. I, I was a mess. So anyway, but Ron and I decided after a period of time we were going to go ahead and, and um, share this food. And we started at Agape <coughs> Spiritual Center. Thank you, Reverend Michael. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and we started over there. We were there for six yes. years on the parking lot. They were so gracious to have us. And then we um, uh, got the restaurant mm -hmm. and with, uh, uh, with a little bit of assistance from uh, uh, folks like Reverend Michael and other friends. We were I love to, Reverend uh, Michael. You know. the spot, but you get him on the and, show. Uh, we've been there <laughs> since 2008, and the rest is history. Awesome, wow. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it was a journey. And then, of course, you know, people want to know, how are you really going to open a vegan restaurant in Inglewood? I live, <laughs> I live in the area, of course. There are plenty of vegans, plenty of conscious people yes. in, our, in our community. So what does that mean? Yes, it's needed there. Everybody mm -hmm. else moves across town. And it just doesn't make sense, you know. So, you know, and, and it was right at the height of the recession, so uh, they were really questioning us. But, you know, we figured it out because it was needed, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And we're still there. Babette, we have to take a break uh, real quick, okay. but I want to get a good recipe from you. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, you guys, words can't even explain. Like, um, I'm not a total vegan, and I started frequent frequenting her restaurant mm -hmm. probably close to almost a year now and the flavors of the foods that she offers at this restaurant are so delicious mm -hmm. you don't miss well, the meat mm -hmm. i eat uh, her chili her vegan chili is like the bomb to die for i oh. thought it was you know ground beef in there or i've had her tacos i've had her <laughs> veggie burgers everything her fresh juices everything at her restaurant I do not miss the meat portion of it, the animal protein. It, it is just so tasty. So I would like to um, have you share how you get that delicious taste in, in the vegan restaurants. Because to us that are non-vegan, um, we think, oh, you know, eating vegan or tofu, oh, that's so boring. It tastes and better with fat. Yeah, everything. You know? Yeah, we want <laughs> fat, we want it. lard, we want bacon, <laughs> put some bacon in it. But let's take a break and, and we'll be back in, okay. in here. Thank you again Thank for you. your beautiful food, what you support in Healthy Earth Festival. Yes, so we're going to go to our next song. One of us is unique, so just recognize it and live your dream. We all look alike, but we're different breeds. See, authenticity is the key. The key to peace and a happy life and many more things. Yeah, that is right. I would never tell you a bad advice. Wrote this because it's what I had to write. Because everything happens for a reason. The rain went in the four seasons. And once I noticed this fact, everything made sense. Life became more decent. I started to become my true self. I wish I was somebody that I knew well. I just had to figure out who I really was because I was tired of going through hell. No matter how you choose to live, be yourself. Be yourself. Your authenticity is a gift So we appreciate it Gotta be yourself, gotta be yourself Be authentic and you see that you be free as well Gotta be yourself, gotta gotta be yourself Be authentic and you see that you be free as well Oh, you really go find it out Your heart will tell you what life's about Don't believe 
believe what your mind will shout I'm optimistic, no time for doubt I focus on the good things in life So I'm attracting the things I like You can learn from everything I write But do whatever you think is right yeah. You will be where you need to be When you keep it real and act peacefully See the world is not what it seems to be Cause everything you see has a frequency yeah. You need to change your vibration first To get all the things that you may deserve sure. Change your thoughts and you change your world But don't get upset when things ain't occur No matter how you choose to Be Yourself by Chaos Steve. You got to be yourself. Don't yes. you love that? Mm-hmm. If we are not ourselves, who are we going to be? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. But anyway, so we got to get back to Chef Babette Davis because we need to hear some good recipe that we could take home mm-hmm. and make it delicious. Like how she makes it delicious. So are you there, Babette? Yes. All right. Give us a wonderful recipe that we can. Okay, this is always my favorite giveaway recipe because most people are going to just absolutely love it and just be amazed by how wonderful uh, avocados can taste in a mm-hmm. dessert. I love so, so you want to get either lemon or lime um, juice. Uh, let's say um, it depends on how tart you'd like for this dessert to be. Tart. So we're going to, yeah, so we want um, a nice green avocado. You want them soft enough. Obviously, you want them ripe, uh, but you want them bright green. That's going to make the best looking um, parfait. And so you want to take, let's say, three to four beautiful avocado, and you want to put those in your food processor uh, equipped with the S-Blade. And um, no or in a food, yes. or in a blender, and then you want let's say uh, half a cup, quarter cup to half a cup lemon or lime juice, and then you want um, three quarter cup or sweetened to taste agave nectar for your okay. choice of sweetener, but not refined sugar. Mm. And uh, I use agave, so it's syrup. And then you want a teaspoon of vanilla and a pinch of sea salt Mm -hmm. and uh, about uh, two to three tablespoons uh, of coconut oil and you want to blend all of that together, break it down and then make sure that it's just tart enough and um, you have enough sweetener and salt in it. Those are the main three things and vanilla. You got to be able to, all of those flavors will come together and it's just an amazing dessert and you serve it of course with all kind of berries mm. you've got the avocado there and you've got yeah. uh, all your antioxidant fruits uh strawberries blueberries raspberries 
bananas. It goes good with all of that. And your avocado is a fruit. So how wonderful is that? Oh, and then you can throw you know, some granola off in it. Your favorite granola, yum. <clears throat> I'm I just, yeah, I, I'm amazed at that. That is really some new info for it's me because so I love different. avocado and I eat them raw. But you're right, it is a fruit. And I never really looked at an avocado as a fruit to combine with sweet. So right. when you said use the agave nectar, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, you all. You have to try it. Wow, Once you add that definitely. little bit of coconut oil to it and if you smooth it out, it's just amazing. Oh it really my is. God! It so sounds good. like it. It sounds. So try like that it. one out. Do you serve that up to your restaurant? Oh yeah, I use. Well, I don't have it every day. I'm a. I'm just really terrible, you guys, because I I love doing desserts so much that I'm just changing up all the time, and people are like, "This lady really makes me sick." <laughs> 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 They'll be like, is she a plan if you have a mess? So my husband is so exasperated with me. I really have to get on a schedule so I can teach somebody these standards sure. so that we have them all the time. I'm terrible. I, I'm just cooking like I'm in my kitchen at home. <laughs> and it is so delicious. <laughs> anyway. hey, can, can you give people the address to uh, yeah, stuff I eat? 114 North Market Street. In beautiful downtown Inglewood, yes. California, and uh, we're open Sunday through uh, what is it? No, let's say it this way. How about Tuesday through Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was all messed up. Here. Tuesday through Saturday, we're open from t- noon to eight, and then on Sunday noon to six. Okay, great. All right. Well, we... I'm usually in house. If you ever want to meet me in person, I'm usually in house on Tuesdays and on um, Sundays all day. But um, this Tuesday, you guys, you, you know want to meet doing? her. She is so inspirational, and like I said, she looks amazing. She is truly a role model, just a, a wonderful personality. Mm-hmm. And she, her, her figure, her face, everything is so amazing. She embodies the show "Let's Be Whole" on how to integrate yourself, mind, body, and soul because she has it together. All right, oh, you're, you're a sweetheart, y'all. I'm Thank you so together. much. Thank you. I'm getting it together. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all a work in progress, and some are more advanced than others, and you are advanced. So. <laughs> All right, Babette, until next time, thank you. Thank you, you, Chef, for calling in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. All right, great. So we have some wonderful guests in the show. We have another chef. I mean, we've got to have a male chef, right? That's not right. (laughs) Balance it out. Oh, no. (laughs) Men in the kitchen. Men in the kitchen. I know Monica's son is all into the feminine divine. (laughs) You know, sometimes we got to give the brothers a little props, too. Sometimes. You know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. We got to balance. We balance it. Balance it. For sure. (laughs) And so we're going to have Queen G introduce our guests. Okay, we have Eddie Bell on the segment. This is my husband. Yay, Eddie, the photographer. (laughs) Yes, he's photography and, man, he's everything to me. (laughs) Put it like that. And then um, we have Don Anthony, who is also a chef and a vegan chef. Vegan chef. Yeah, yeah, um, and he actually gave us some samples. We go... Intro, you know, bring that up. Yeah, later. we're gonna have. Oh, that'll make for good radio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta taste some of the some of the goodies. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So what we've got going on here is Eddie Bell, who's gonna talk. Uh, he's been going through some health issues, which we know is a, a normal occurrence here in the U.S. Mm-hmm. and in global, but especially in the U.S. Uh, because of our eating habits. So he, he's going to talk about uh, his lifestyle, uh, what he went through with his health previously, where he's at now, and then we'll have uh, Chef Don talk about his previous health issues and how he changed his life around and what he's doing to help keep everybody healthy now. So, Eddie, let's hear your story. Well, how are everybody doing tonight? Hey, hey good. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Well, um... About four years ago, I had like a heart, massive heart attack. Um, It was crazy. Um, High blood pressure, high Mm. cholesterol, you name it, it was there. Mm. 
So, you know, but God is good. You know, I'm still here. I must have a, a God must have a plan for me or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Amen. Amen. You're still here. So you had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a heart attack, and you are how old? 37 now. I was 32 when I... Wow. Uh, 32. And you guys... 32. It, so young. It's yeah. ma it was a massive heart attack, the big daddy that they say Whoa. takes people out. It was the big one. Mm. Well, what led up to that, Eddie? What happened? Uh, stress. Don't let nobody stress you out. Like what kind of was it? Job stress or family? What life was stress. life stress? <laughs> life stress. Um, yeah, it was just all different things, you know. Um, doing some things shouldn't been doing, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> all right, like what drinking and yeah. stuff. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, that's we gotta yeah. keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Because you could help somebody. The element. I mean, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, putting all them bad chemicals in your body it won't work. Okay. <laughs> Our body talks to us, doesn't it? It does. We does better it? listen. Yeah, we better listen. When you have a heart attack and you're feeling chest pains and all that stuff, your body is telling you, slow your roll. Slow yeah. your roll. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. He was so, the youngest um, guy on the on the floor when he had the massive heart attack. Like, he was the youngest. The, the doctors could not believe he was this young in there. They put um, stents in his mm -hmm. heart mm -hmm. to open some of the valves and passageways so that his um his heart can get blood flow and mm -hmm. stuff like that so was it was it clogged like, oh yeah cholesterol or yeah. oh yeah yeah so then do you, you would attribute that attribute that to eating habits yeah yeah and so how what did the kind of foods yeah what was yeah. your diet then what my diet then what diet the diet then. Well, and what, the, what did you change? Diet, like your food. What you, what uh, you ate? <laughs> yeah. What was your diet then, and how, what did you have to change um, to still it, stick around? It was. It was. I really didn't have a diet because I'm a southern eater, so. Soul food. Soul, Soul food, food. You know. Pig's feet. Did you eat pig's no, feet? No, you didn't eat pig's feet. Only Ham. Pig's feet, only chillings. Pork ribs. Yeah. Pork ribs. So. You know, and I was real active at that time. I played ball a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I played basketball like every day. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, it was just. So what happened? What were your symptoms? Like, how do we know when someone has a heart attack? What What were your symptoms? Um, Really, just chest pains. You know, um, yeah, like something stabbing you in the chest or something. Mm. Oh, wow. You know? So it, it was crazy. Um, didn't know I was having a heart attack at that moment, but you know, as I went to the hospital, sure enough, you were there. So, oh yeah, they um, they they did the EKG, and that's how they monitored. They saw the, it's like a earthquake wave, and it, it was big, like a seismograph. That's all I know is that it was big. Mm. It was jumping off the Richter scale. Like, he was having it at that moment. They immediately rushed him back to the ER and um, went in right away. Mm, it mm. was really serious. We didn't know. I mean, we just thought he was hurting. Mm. You know what I mean? But we didn't know it was that bad. Mm -hmm. Had he not been, you know, taken to the hospital immediately, he probably would have gone on. Too. Yeah. Oh my God. So how did you change your diet? What were the major, major things that you did proactively um, <laughs> it can't be that Nothing hard. Here. Come on, pull it out. We got a call. We have a caller with a comment right now. Who do we have on the line? Yes, this is uh, Rashad Lee again. Oh, hey. hi, Rashad. Yeah, we're glad you called back, Rashad. Yeah. What's up? Yes, uh, yes, I was uh, just uh, hear y'all conversation. You know, y'all talk about food and health. Yes, uh -huh. and uh, you know, I think it's really good because you know, it's like. You know, for us adults, you know, you know, you know, we always, you know, cut back on a few things to work ourselves up. Mm -hmm. But I know you guys can relate to this. It's always a fame member be like, Man, you know, go ahead and taste this. You know, it's not going to mm -hmm. hurt you. Okay. You know, your mind, it ain't right, you know, and stuff. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. It's always somebody trying to tempt you with a piece of chocolate cake, huh? I love some yeah, chocolate right. cakes. <laughs> Be careful at them barbecues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Watch out yeah, for them it's... poke ribs. <laughs> no, but you, I know down, eating down, yeah, down south especially, um, you have to really be careful. Is it possible to eat healthy down south? Yeah, Not it is. Really. Sure, yeah. There, I've seen some uh, vegan uh, soul uh, cookbooks, mm. and it's just replacing some of that, the fat, the fat with, with the, like the coconut oil, and uh, but it's just it's just same t same food, but steaming it instead of frying mm -hmm. it, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like out I there. make greens with uh, with smoked turkey mix, oh, yeah. and and it tastes delicious. It's really good. Yeah. Try it one yeah. time with coconut. Uh, coconut oil just saute oh. them onions with uh the greens with the coconut oil with coconut oil yeah okay it, it, you'd be amazed okay i mean it's a different flavor but y y yeah it can be done if there's a will yeah it's a way <laughs> <laughs> all right rashad well thanks that's a great tip so we got to be careful when our friends try to tempt us when mm -hmm. we're on the path to eat healthy thank you for that and with other things. Thank you, too. Rashad. Thanks, Rashad. Thanks, Rashad. All right, so we've got Chef Don Anthony in the house who also had some health challenges as an African American male. And let's hear his yeah. story. Oh, man. Um, you know what? My story was, it, it wasn't as uh, drastic as Eddie's, but it was up there. I was uh, hitting about 480, mm. 485. Hmm. close to five and I stopped eating uh, well I'll take you back to the 84 Olympics I had a friend who his brother worked at McDonald's and I had uh, the game pieces and I scratched it off and I won five Big Macs one day this was down by the Coliseum mm -hmm. and I went to the McDonald's and I redeemed my five Big Macs <laughs> and I sat there and I ate all five of those Big Macs Whoa. in 84 and uh, the next day I realized that that's not something that I should have been doing because I woke up lethargic. Mm. You know, it was just like really not not a good look. Mm -hmm. So I started doing research and found out that red meat stays in your system five years. No wow. matter how or what you do, red meat stays in, for a, a man that's not good. Yeah. No, because colon that, can't. That, yeah. that red meat ferments in your, in your colon, mm. which leads to colon cancer. Mm. Oh. So chicken, chicken is about three, and pork is about two. Well, pork is a, is a, is not a good thing anyway mm. for African American men because we we add the saltiness on top of the stress, then that 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 just knocks us out. So I stopped eating pork and beef. Uh, in 84. Hmm. Wow. Wow. 84 well, was like a little, probably about 80, last end of 84. Okay. And okay. so I went almost, well, now I haven't eaten beef and pork in forever. And I'm, I'll be 47 next Monday. So. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah. But uh, then what I, what, what caused me to go fully, uh, uh, vegetarian vegan was six years ago I had uh, I was I was celebrating Lent so I went on this fast and I didn't eat any meat what a good Catholic boy <laughs> <laughs> then I came back off of the, the the Lent and I went crazy and I had orange chicken oh wow. I had uh, teriyaki mm -hmm. chicken I was I was the beast at the place you know <laughs> and I wound up getting sick from so the I just said, forget it. Uh -huh. mm. You know, I'm not doing it anymore. And so what wind up happening with that is, is I just went, just cold turkey went right then. No meat. went from all that chicken to cold turkey, huh? No, meat. <laughs> that's a lot of no, fowl. That's a <laughs> lot of fowl. So, <laughs> so uh, but you know, the the to comment on what Rashad was saying uh, about uh, being influenced, mm. I go out with friends family all the time mm -hmm. and it doesn't bother me no they offer me meat yeah well it takes know. a strong personality yeah, to do yeah, that you know, it, you know i mean i'm not saying that I, i'm i'm all strong like i'm the big man because mm -hmm. when i see somebody eating ribs i'm definitely looking at <laughs> and i'm definitely it's a temptation yeah yeah, yeah having I mean, a memory it's, it's calling me I, I i see it walking toward me and having <laughs> conversations with me you know you want me but i'm like nah i'm good <laughs> i'm good because i mean I, i'm at the point where if i eat it 
it just won't do me right. It won't mm-hmm. do you. Yeah, right, so. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm I'm slowly making the transition into totally healthy eating too. But as I I notice as I'm going through this transition, when I do succumb to eating the bad foods, I pay the price. Right. And I'm like, and now I'm really thinking, like, why am I doing this to myself? To go out and get a chili cheese dog, you know, for the moment, it sounds like, oh, you know, I get a chili cheese dog. But then my stomach is all turned up and I'm in the bathroom and, you know, and I'm and I'm Mm. in pain. And so why would. I want to hurt my body like that. Why would I want to hurt my temple like that? So my brain is starting to change, like put in good things. Good things, yeah. Well, Well, I mean, it's kind of different for when it comes to red meat and women. (laughs) Wait uh, a minute. Where are we going with this? Well, well, it's different for, for a woman versus a man. You guys need that iron. But you have to kind of get it in different ways if you're mm. going vegan or mm-hmm. vegetarian. Can you but, get the iron from cooking in cast iron? Is that true? Uh, um, yeah. B- burst my bubble. What? No. <laughs> well, no. I mean, you know, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you really want to go, uh, uh, like, really tree hugger, bohemian, you yeah, know, you have to. <laughs> you have to. You know, hugging some the, trees those, right now. Those cast iron skill is let off. Mm-hmm. It's almost as if you're uh, smoking a pack of cigarettes. Are you serious? Yeah, because it lets off the carcinogens. Those, those every time you put heat to cast iron, it lets off. Oh my oh, gosh! Wow. I've got you my mother's I mean? cast iron. So and I've been cooking with they, it all a these lot years. Of people say open, open flame, open mm-hmm. grill, mm-hmm. no propane. Oh, that's why they said that. Okay. Right, no propane, mm-hmm. none of that. But if you don't have that, like the Teflon is good because okay. it doesn't give you a high burn. That high burn mm-hmm. is what causes, you know. What happens when it chips? It starts well, chipping and everything. Then you get a new one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just so that even <laughs> even the method of how you, what you use in the kitchen mm-hmm. may yeah. may or break your, your, your diet and stuff like that. Is yeah, that what and, you're saying? I mean, and I think, I think when a lot of people are, are swearing by sapphire, uh, uh, was this sunflower oil or mm. coconut oil? But I think, just my own personal mm-hmm. opinion, mm-hmm. that grapeseed oil okay. is probably the best, even better than extra virgin olive oil. Really? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. it's an antioxidant off jump. Mm. You can take a, a, a shot glass of olive of grapeseed oil straight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been hearing a mm. lot of articles about how good grapeseed oil is, and they're saying that it's about the same level of coconut oil. So, I mean, we can do both then, right? Sure. Well, I do well, coconut it's switch oil. it up. Higher, it's yeah. a higher uh, coconut oil is 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 excellent. And I'm not shooting it down, but it's a is the uh, grapeseed oil is a higher has a higher uh, uh, health and nutrient benefit. Okay. okay. Than, than coconut. Speaking but it's more, of you know. Speaking of nutrients and benefit, what do we have? We have some treats here that Chef Don prepared. We're going to taste it on the air. What is this? uh, Here we go. Here we go. I haven't eaten. I'm hungry. (laughs) Oh, we better get Shaman Ali Baba back here. He's hungry. (laughs) They are my basic. uh, uh, They are Mm. uh, sweet potato spice Mm. cookies, but they're basic. You know, they... I have other ones that I do make that are like power cookies, which uh, you take in the morning when you're getting ready to work out. And it's made with uh, different herbs. Mm. And soft. I want some power cookies. Yeah. Let's all try. Oh, we want to make it made, I'm sorry. And it's made with like I'm hungry, I'm sorry. and, and <laughs> maca and you know it's like it, maca you, root is in this mm. no 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 in no, his no, power no, cookies no. oh in his power cookies no no no, no, no what's no, the no. ingredients in this yeah delicious. what is this oh, sweet potato that, that's mm. not what was you could taste uh, everything whatever is uh, it i mean you could taste every ingredient it's, well, cinnamon it's, uh, it's non-gluten flour mm-hmm. uh, it, uh mm. it's vegetarian uh man you got put me on the spot it's vegetarian uh butter Wow. Sweet potatoes. Wow. Mm-hmm. 
then it's all spice, mm-hmm. you know, delicious. All, all and spice, I don't pumpkin, miss. I mean, I, this is know. better and healthier mm-hmm. and more but, nutritious than going to get some hostess, hostess uh, cupcakes. This well, is delicious. Yeah. I mean, and it, it is. It is not as it's not as intrusive as, like you said, the cupcakes. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it, it gives you it gives you that that taste. But then when you chase it down with milk or water or tea. It makes you want to go back and get more. Mm-hmm. You know, so so do you do milk? I thought you were, ve- you were no, vegan. No, okay, I yeah. don't drink milk. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, just asking. You yeah, said yeah. milk. What do no, you do as an alternative some, to milk? Uh, I don't. I don't drink milk. Do you do I'll almond take, milk or I do anything milk. like no? that? No. Nothing Coconut like that. Milk. No. Mm. no. Nothing's wrong with almond milk. Though. No, nothing's wrong mm. with it. I just prefer not to do it. You know. Period. Mm. I spent many years. Replacing the red meat with milk and cereal, mm. and oh. that wasn't a good look. So, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. my my system was not cool for milk. Well, milk so. I heard that has a lot of sugar in it. Well, oh. I, you know, the regular milk is okay, but goat's milk is mm-hmm. really the best milk oh, really? for uh, people who want to drink milk. Yeah, mm. and you want to cook with goat's milk, and you know, it's it's better. Coconut okay. milk is good too, mm-hmm. you know. But any last advice you can give to Eddie and our listeners out there about um, healthy and, heart um, eating? Mm-hmm. Man, you know, here, here's the thing, and I, I can just tell you real quick. Uh, I, I'm not anti medicine. I'm not anti doctor. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the herbs and stuff that we, the plants, all, all of us used to have plants mm-hmm. to heal us. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. versus these mm-hmm. these pills. These pills, they tell you, oh yeah, it's gonna cure your heart, but it's gonna give you syphilis and gonorrhea. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, well, the little lady that's talking real fast is like, she's telling us what really this stuff is gonna do to us. So you know, I mean, for African American men and women, I would suggest uh, hawthorn berries. Hawthorn mm-hmm. berry. Okay. I would suggest. Primrose oil. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to get your groove back and still <laughs> have some energy, I'd say maca root maca extract. Root. You just got a lot of attention on that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you have issues with uh, the feminine issues, I'd say nettle tea. Okay. So you know, nettle you take tea. nettle tea. Um, man. Uh, so you're into the herbs and teas and herbs, teas. Yeah, I try to stay because when you take those, um, like like I for a while I was taking beta blockers, beta blockers, about two or three, four years ago mm-hmm. because I went in like Eddie and it wasn't like stress related. It was um, I don't I think what it what had happened was I had had an issue with not eating enough so it just caused me to not have enough energy to be able to you know to carry you know what i was doing because i was working a lot Mm -hmm. so when i went into the hospital they gave me beta blockers well beta blocker it it just it, it makes your blood flow Mm-hmm. But it slows your heart down. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. And you don't. You can do that with meditation, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to do all of that. So I just, right. I just decided real quick to just take hawthorn berries and do other herbs and stuff. Yeah. Well, Chef Don, we would love to have you back. Yes, on the Chef show Don, thank you, la- thank you for the deliciousness more. up yeah, here. Yeah, we mm-hmm. have to wrap up the Let's Be Whole show. It's been a fabulous episode. Eat to live, don't live to eat. Take care of your body. You only have one. That's All right. right. Tune in next Sunday, 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. We're signing off. Cleopatra J. Son. Queen G. Chef Don Anthony. Yeah. yeah. Right. Shaman Ali Ba. <laughs> Eddie Bell. Good night, Brother. you guys. Yes, Good night. Yes, Good night. Yes, See you next week. Thank you, Doctor. I like your hair.